Hey everybody, it's Denise, your favorite Tupperware lady. You have tuned in to Niecy's Tupper Supper. Do you ever have those days where you just can't get warm? Today is my day. It's not that cold outside. It's like 46 degrees-ish, but it's windy. And I'm not outside, but I'm still cold. So I decided I'm going to use my favorite toy, the microwave pressure cooker that is a special offer this month. Um, it has a special offer that goes with it kind of a purchase with a purchase or a freebie with a purchase. Um, and so I wanted to show you how easy it is to make a one pot meal. Now, just about any crock pot recipe that you want, as long as it fits to the fill line in here, you can do it. And it's done in 25 to 30 minutes. So we're going to make spaghetti and meatball soup. Now this is a new recipe. I've not done this before. These are our kitchen shears, by the way. Look, they come apart for easy cleaning and if you go camping or you're out and about um, camping or you're tailgating or something um, and you forgot your knife, when it comes apart, look, well, you can't really see. There you can. There's another, bl it's a blade and you can use it as a knife. So double duty and then they just fit right back together. So this is a uh, spaghetti and meatball soup. Like I said, I have never made this, but it looks really good. I usually do a trial run on recipes, but I trust my pressure cooker, so I'm just gonna wing it. Um, so you take one pound of fully cooked frozen mini or regular meatballs. And these, they don't say mini, but um, they're not that big. So they're not the big ones and they're not the minis. So they're about midway. I'm gonna put, this is a two pound bag. And the only reason these are not in Tupperware yet is because they weren't opened until just now. So I'm gonna put these in a freezer mate to protect them from freezer burn um, once I get done making my soup. So one pound of meatballs, two cups of chicken broth. Let me show you what I've done. These are our micro pitchers, look at that just tilts right up. You have a one cup and a two cup. And I guess I just took this out of the microwave. These are made out of the same material as our stack cooker. They're the same color too. So I put two cups of water in here and two bouillon cubes to make my broth. I used to buy the boxed broth, but I can never remember when I opened it. And I know an easy solution would be to write on it with a Sharpie and, but I forget. So or I just run out of time and I never I never want to trust it to make sure it's not um, good. So I do the bouillon and I do the better than bouillon, the little jars that go in the fridge after you open them. Um, so these go in the microwave. And so I just heated my water up, put the bouillon cubes in there because you need um, two cups, beef or chicken broth. I chose chicken. And then I put the one cup on top of it so that it doesn't splatter. And after it sat there for a minute, I put it in there for one more minute to help dissolve the cubes. And they went right on in there. And these are dishwasher safe as well. They have other measurements in between, but full, it's a one cup and a two cup. So those are the only measuring cups that we have that go in the microwave. They're microwave safe. One bay leaf, but I'm gonna use two small ones because I couldn't find, there was not a big one in my container. Um, I'm gonna get to show you several products today. Um, this we don't have. I try not to show stuff that we don't have because I don't want you to get mad because you can't have it, but we have a larger version. This is our smaller version of the stack of the um, Spice Keeper. And this is basil and we need, oh, I can't find it. I don't have my reading glasses on. Basil leaves fresh. So I'm gonna use a quarter teaspoon just because. Then we're gonna use, this is what we do have, the large spice shakers. Your spices will last, this is onion powder by the way, we need a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. And I bought this in bulk, so quarter teaspoon goes in there of onion powder. These are our large stack keepers. We do have these with black seals. You have a pour side and a sprinkle side. And then I'm gonna need some Italian seasoning, a teaspoon of that. And as you can see, most of our, I think all the way up to our tablespoon, these are not the current line, um, but our teaspoons, our, te our teaspoons, our measuring spoons and our cups, you get six of each. 
So no other company gives you that many. You usually only get four. But with Tupperware, you get six spoons and six cups. Um, you have two bonus uh, measurements that you don't normally get in other companies um, measuring spoons and cups. And this, oh, one of my other favorite little babies, these are our counterscapes. They're for dry ingredients, or I've seen people make those herbed and flavored butters and put them in here, and these have a secret. They have a little scoop inside that pops out. So if you're not measuring, or even if you are, I believe this is, I wanna say a half a teaspoon, let's see. Half a teaspoon, uh, maybe a quarter teaspoon. So I need garlic powder, I need a half a teaspoon of that. I'll probably put more because I love garlic. But these are our counterscapes. They look and feel like glass, but they're lightweight. It's kind of, um, the best way I could use to describe it is an acrylic material. Does not go in the microwave, but it is uh, the look and feel of glass, but it's very lightweight. So if you buy more spices than these will hold, these are a beautiful alternative and they sit so pretty on your counter. They come to, to a set, I believe for $29. So we've added um, Italian seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, bay leaves. It calls for one, but I use two small. A jar, 24 ounce jar of spaghetti sauce. Um, not an endorsement, but I've, I'm using this brand for the first time because I saw something on the internet that said it has less sugar and we're all trying to do less sugar, right? Right. So we're going to try a new recipe with a new pasta sauce. I usually use prego or ragu, but I'm like less sugar. Yeah, that's, and I'm using the roasted garlic flavor because I love garlic and garlic's good for you. So let's see, Half, one pound of uh, meatballs, two cups of beef or chicken broth, we use chicken, 24 ounce of spaghetti sauce, Italian seasoning, onion, onion powder, garlic powder, bay leaves, spaghetti, eight ounces of broken spaghetti in two or three inch pieces. I don't know if this is eight ounces or not, but it's the end of my batch. This is our spaghetti keeper. This is in our modular mace line. Um, this is too tall to go in your average cabinet. Um, mine usually sits out on the counter over there. You can do more than just spaghetti in here. You can do lasagna noodles. You can do macaroni. Um, you can do cupcake holders. You can do chopsticks. You can do your wooden skewers to keep them clean and out of the drawer and from stabbing somebody when they go in the drawer to pick them out. Um, so many, so many uses. These are a great gift as well. I have recipes for like layered soups and layered cookies. So kind of the ones like you use, you see them sometimes in a mason jar, but this way they have a gift that lasts forever. So once the soup or the cookie mix is all gone, um, they can use it as their spaghetti keeper and every time they use it, they think of you. So this comes with a little divider and it just pops out and it has a measurement on it. It says one and two, you probably can't see it. One there on the bottom and a two. Let's see if I can get it to come into focus. Sort of, kind of. So one or two servings, if you pour it out this um, little hole. See, the one is smaller than the two. But I'm gonna use all of this because I'm not sure if it's eight ounces or not, but I'm gonna break it into pieces. And this is just raw spaghetti noodles. It says broken into two to three inch pieces. So we're just gonna break it, fake it till we make it. Like I said, this is a new recipe that I've been wanting to try in no time than the present when our February sales brochure features the pressure cooker. This is my favorite way to cook, especially during soup season. Get out of there. One more noodle. It's look, it's stuck sideways down in the bottom. I'm gonna get it. Ah, oh, there it goes. Ha ha. That way all of the spaghetti is gone and I can put that on my list. So this is our um, silicone spatula. It's rounded on one side, so when you get to the bottom of the can or the bottom of the mayo jar, you can get in that curve and get all of that out so you don't throw anything away. If you've been to the refrigerator, the refrigerator, if you've, you've probably been, seen this in the refrigerator too, if you've been to the grocery store lately, you have seen shortages of all things. Well, the store did not have a block of Parmesan cheese, and I was very sad because I love fresh Parmesan cheese. So normally this is where I would show you how to shred cheese like a boss with our master grater system. Um, it suctions onto the countertop so that it does not move. It has a lock. Let me tilt, let me see if I can tilt down without dropping you. 
Don't fall, don't fall. Um, it has, let me take it apart so you can see. Once you buy the base, this white part down here, you can have several different attachments, such as the master grader. I can't do this. Oh, I've got it locked. No wonder, duh, Denise. So this is the hopper part of the master grader system. It just slides in there. And then when you lock this part, it locks this in and it locks this down onto the countertop or in my case, my glass top stove. And then you've got uh, three different grater blades. This is the medium. There's also a fine one and there's also an ice one. And then you secure it with the handle. And then you would get your block of cheese. The reason why you always wanna wear uh, buy block cheese is because number one, it's real cheese. Number two, it's cheaper. When you buy the already shredded stuff, you paid somebody to do that, okay? Plus, like I said, it's not all real cheese um, because they have to put something in it to make it keep its shape. So if God forbid it gets a little warm on your way home from the store, it doesn't melt into a blob. They put something in it and I know recently you may have seen the um, news stories where the Parmesan cheese in the green can had wood pulp in it. Yeah, uh, they did that on purpose to make it keep its shape. And then this is your plunger to push your cheese down in there. There's also um, a veggie spiralizer. So if you like spiralized veggies, if you're trying to eat healthy, like all of us are, um, there's also, an, like I said, an ice shaver. There's several different, there's a meat grinder. If you like making your own sausage, I know a lot of people have husbands who are hunters. Thank goodness mine, are, mine is not um, because I don't do wild game and I would not want to deal with venison. <laughs> I just, I just, I love Bambi. I just love Bambi. So I'm not even gonna measure this. I'm gonna just take a little handful. It says a quarter cup. I'll probably add a little bit more because I love Parmesan. Um, and then you're gonna put this in the microwave for 25 minutes. I'm gonna do 25 because our meatballs are frozen. I could probably do 20 if my meatballs were not frozen, but I'm gonna do 25 and I'll come back and show you ah, the results. I just splattered myself. That's okay, it came off. Um, so here's how you close up your pressure cooker. Now, the reason I love this is because one, it goes in the microwave. And even if I forgot, if I wanted to do barbecue chicken, and I've done this several times, if I wanted to do barbecue chicken and I forgot to take it out of the freezer, I could put my frozen chicken in here, my barbecue sauce, put it in the microwave for 30 minutes, and I would have barbecue chicken. Doesn't matter that I forgot to thaw it out. I can cook it in here. So this is the top. It has uh, two safety features. First of all, this locks. It doesn't just sit and seal. It You twist it to lock it. Um, this is a pressure release valve. This is as well. This lets you know that it's pressurized. This little guy stands up at attention when it's cooking and when it's still pressurized and when he falls down, you know that he's safe to open. And then there's also a steam release hole here. So a lot of times, uh, depending on your microwave, um, your little guy may whistle while he's cooking. That's okay. That's just the steam coming out of the hole. And sometimes when you blow air through a small hole, it whistles. This is a gasket, a rubber gasket. It is a pressurized seal. So this makes sure that it's safe. It helps make it safe. So there's two locks. So right here, you have a triangle. Okay, and there's another one here on the handle. If I tilt this too far, um, I'm gonna spill my soup. But it's right there, you might can see it. So what you do is you line up triangle to triangle, easy peasy, and it goes on. See, it sits right down on there. You, um, it's not real complicated. Uh, the, um, it has coordinating grooves where it sits down in the grooves. Then you just turn it one counterclockwise to where the handles all match up. And so look, it's locked. I'm picking it up by the top and it's locked. One more lock. This is your other lock. It has little grooves right here. This little rubber gasket holds over the hole that I showed you earlier where the steam comes out. You put this in the notch, you lay it down, and then it goes down into this groove right here. And that's your other lock. This top is not gonna come off. It is not going to explode. Now. You do need to make sure both of these rubber gaskets are put in properly so that the, the steam can escape and the pressure can escape 
properly and safely. Other than that, you're good to go. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave for 25 minutes and then I will come back and show you the finished product. So I wanted to go ahead and show you the freezer mates. This is one size. I put my meatballs in there and they're all loosey goosey. I like uh, this size and shape um, better than the smaller ones. I don't know, just a preference. We have shorter ones um, that will probably hold the same amount, but they're taller, they're deeper, and they're um, more of a square shape than a rectangle. And maybe if I put this down, I can get the seal on it. So when you seal your containers, there's a, almost always there's gonna be a tab on one corner. Start at the opposite tab and work your way around to where the tab is the last thing that you seal. Our freezer mates, they even have little snowflakes on them to let you know that they're safe to go in the freezer. Um, they protect against freezer burn. And like say like if I put soup in this, all I would have to do when I'm ready to heat this up, these don't go in the microwave, but just twist it. See how flexible they are? Just twist it to loosen up the soup, dump it into a pot or dump it into your um, stack cooker, three quart casserole bottom to reheat it and serve. So I just wanted to show you one of our freezer mates real quick. Like I said, they do protect from freezer burn. They also have a little bit of stain resistant material in them. Um, we have several sizes and different colors. This will help you meal prep. Um, now I've got meatballs. I can make spaghetti and meatballs later on. I can make meatball subs and I've already got my meatballs things. And then to label them, you can either get a label maker or I bought some chalk markers from the craft store. Um, the one that starts with an M. The one that starts with an H, they had them, but they were more expensive. Um, you might also find them at Walmart in the, um, craft aisle, but I usually get chalk markers and I just write on the side what it is and the date that I put it in there so I'll know what it is and how old it is. So those are our freezer mates. Ta-da! Okay, it's the moment of truth. It's been 25 minutes and my little pressurized indica pressure indicator has gone all the way down. Look, you can still see the steam. Oh, my kitchen smells so good. Um, the garlic. Ooh. Now this will be warm, but it's not too hot to touch without a um, pot holder. So I'm going to lift the lock. Let me put y'all down some so you can see what I'm doing. You don't need to see me. <laughs> you need to see my fantastic plastic. So you unlock the, the bar. Then you pull it up twice. It has uh, two catches. One, two. You can take it all the way off or you can just lift it up. You're going to uh, turn this one quarter turn counterclockwise to unlock it and always open it up away from you. So I'm going to open it up towards y'all because you don't want the steam. I don't want to open it this way because the steam is going to come out. I'm going to open it towards you so that the steam doesn't come straight up in my face. Oh my gravy. Look at those pretty meatballs and my spaghetti is all cooked. Oh, oh, I just saw a bay leaf. I should have got it out while I had it. Well, there's one. Let me get that out because I always have to remind my husband, don't eat those. <laughs> if you do, you'll regret it. Let me see if I can find the other one real quick. No, okay, that's fine. I'll get it later. So here's my spaghetti and meatball soup. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. There's, nope, I thought that was a bay leaf. That's basil. Okay, taste test. I'm gonna cut my meatball in half because I don't wanna put the whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> and I wanna make sure it's done and it's fully heated in the middle. I know it's done because they're fully cooked. They were just frozen. Yep, it, ooh, it is good and hot. It is fully cooked in the middle. Now, let's do a taste test. Mm, I'm so excited. I oh, I forgot. You're supposed to garnish it with some more fresh basil, which I don't have right now because it's January. Um, and some more Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna put a little Parmesan cheese. I have part of a meatball. I know y'all don't wanna see me eat, but the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> oh, it's so good and hot. 25 minutes, y'all, look at that steam. Perfect for a cold day like this. I went and took the dogs out while I was waiting on this to cook. It's so windy, so I probably look like a, a windblown hot mess. This is gonna take a minute. Mmm, 
spaghetti is perfectly done. Mmm. That's good soup. Oh, I can't. I can't show you how good it is. You just have to make it for yourself. <laughs> um, like I said, there is a special offer with the pressure cooker this month. Man, that's good. Um, and I put my iPad over there, but I'll put it in the comments. When you purchase the pressure cooker, um, you get two things free. Now, this is one of our premium items. It is $149, but it is worth it because you know the best part about this besides dinner being done in 25 to 30 minutes, when I put my leftover soup in my vent and serve, this is your uh, medium deep. Um, vent and serve, which you can, this goes in the microwave, the freezer, and the table. It's so pretty, you can serve out of this. So I'm gonna put my leftover soup in my vent and serve, and the best part is when I get all of this out of here, this goes in the dishwasher. This part goes in the dishwasher, my ladle goes in the dishwasher, and the top goes in the dishwasher. I usually take the rubber gasket out and wash it by hand, um, just because, I don't know, but this goes in the dishwasher. And it's done. Set it and kind of like set it and forget it kind of thing. Um, you, there's no plugs. There's no electricity except for your microwave. This is great if you are camping. Um, if you want to make quick meals and you're out camping, you're out traveling the world, which is what I'd really love to do. <laughs> Besides being a Tupperware lady. I love being a Tupperware lady. Lord knows I wish I'd listened to my mama more when she was here. But hindsight's 2020, and I'm doing it now. And she guides me every step of the way. Y'all, this is so good. But I mean, how easy does that get? You just dump it all in there. 25 minutes, I went and let the dogs out. I cleaned out the dishwasher. I put the dirty dishes in the dishwasher. And uh, what else did I do? I don't remember. But I did all that while dinner was cooking. I didn't have to stir. Pick a crock pot recipe, put it in here. Even if it's a lava cake, put it in here, it's done. I'm gonna eat the rest of this just because I can. And I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching Nisi's Tupper Supper.